Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have for you my everyday makeup look. Um, so if you're a fan of a flawless base, big lashes, and a really plump looking lip, then this makeup tutorial is right up your alley. So I'm here with no makeup. Obviously just jump right through this um, tutorial now. This is gonna look a little bit ironic because it's a minimal look, but trust me, there's product here that obviously I'm going to put on just to give you guys an idea if you want to put it in or if you want to skip it. Just, I feel like this is just my happy bunch and I love this product. So sometimes I use them all, sometimes I use one and the other. So yes, this is basically it. So I'm gonna start with primer now. I have been enjoying putting primer now. I have seen the major difference. So one that I cannot stop wearing is from Smashbox. Now this one is the Photo Finish Primerizer. Now this one, what I love is that it has hyaluronic acid. So you know that it's gonna make your skin really plump and look really moisturized. And second of all, it just holds in your makeup. So I kind of love it so basically I just drop a bit uh, on my fingers and then I just blend it all over my skin and I just love how quickly it sticks in and at first it feels a little bit sticky but once it dries out it's just perfect to apply foundation or any layer that you're gonna put on top of it and after applying the primer I'm not gonna use foundation not because this is basically like an everyday style that just really minimal um, but if I wouldn't use foundation definitely I would have used my it cosmetic your skin but better CC for coverage cream mixed with my matte mineralized foundation um, what I love about these two together is that with the it cosmetic I get the full coverage while with the Mac I get that dewiness and if you want to see this foundation live in action then you can check out below my shade get ready with me in there I use them both so you gotta get a sense of how it looks on me but I love mixing them together they're like the perfect duo on my skin but I'm actually I'm gonna be using concealers and I have three actually that I like to apply sometimes all of them together or sometimes just one or the other so now the first one that i have to talk about is this one from bobby brown now this one is one of their correctors now this one is an old one i mean i think that now they come in liquid form but i love it and because this thing still is on my stash like i'm not gonna get rid of it and this one is in the shade light bisque now it is a little bit lighter than my skin so i don't basically spread this everywhere just basically on the inner corners of my eyes because there it is where my eyes are darker um i mean i have dark circles because of heritage not a lack of rest so i do have to rely constantly on this product and because this one has like a really pink salmon-y shade it works great if you have dark circles but obviously if you suffer from redness then i would suggest wearing something that has more like a green tint or an orange one but so now the second product that i like to use which is no surprise is my nars soft matte complete concealer now I, I wear this one in the shade biscuit now this is i feel like this is all that you need if you really just want to wear a concealer um now this one definitely is full coverage so you're going to be applying this one i feel like with ever so lightly because it can get a little bit cakey if you overload it so now like the same almost that i did with the bobby brown i just dip my fingers in it and then i just warm it with my touch underneath my eyes and then if i need to obviously blend it in a little bit i go in back with the beauty blender and just spread everything even now with this one um i don't only sometimes apply it underneath my eyes sometimes i apply it on top of pimple if i want a coverage or i even sometimes put it like underneath uh my chin or around my nostrils that is if i need to but obviously i'm gonna use the other concealer for it but this one i love because it really conceals now yeah. the next one that i love using and now this one is an oldie but a goodie i have been rediscovering it is my rimmel match perfection concealer this one is the two in one it's actually a concealer and a highlighter and i just apply this one basically everywhere like between my brows obviously uh below my eyes as well as around my nose on my chin just everywhere that i need obviously a little bit of lightness and as you can see obviously that's just the part that i mostly conceal now this one if i can compare it to anyone probably would be like the ysl Tucci claw because it does the same effect it breaks up a lot the face and i like how lightweight it is that's why i use it still now this one is in the shade 335 light medium Okay guys, now everything is concealed. Now it's time to put a little bit of bronziness on your skin and obviously contour. Now this is an extra step. I don't feel like it is a necessity, but to be completely honest, I kind of stopped doing it. I just love how it makes my skin look because I do have a bit of a double chin. And the product that I have been loving and it makes just my skin look much, much better is my Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. Now this one is in the shade Truffle. Um, I know they have mattes and they also have shimmery ones. And obviously the matte ones, I believe, are to bronze and to contour. And this one is 
quite dark but obviously you need to go darker if you really want to high point those cheekbones so basically what i do is i put it on top of my cheekbones also a little bit um uh on my forehead and then obviously on my chin because i do need it for that double chin that i mentioned and also i like to contour my nose now again this is not something that you should do if you don't need to but i kind of like it because my nose is quite small so i feel like elongated a little bit more and makes my face shape a little bit structured which i kind of like and i just go like in the sides and then a little bit on the top of my, my nose and then i just blend it in i use first my finger just to warm it with the touch but then i I go back in with the beauty blender and just basically blend everything in now this product i feel like it is blendable but i feel like you have to put ever so lightly because if you put too much it's gonna take you a little bit of time to um spread it so like i mentioned put a little bit up on spread it everywhere and i'm happy with the outcome so now I just already did my contouring and I'm kind of obsessed. So now it's time to do highlighter. Um, and the one that I have been using, again, non-stop, is this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now this one is one of their liquid glow. Um, I'm sorry, it's a little bit windy though. Um, and this one is in the shade bronze. Now I know that I have three more shades apart from this one, but this one is the one that I kind of love. And I feel like my skin also loved it. So with this highlighter, basically what I do is I just put on top of my nose, also obviously, typically when you put them, which is on top of your cheekbone, but I also like to put it, um, on top of my brows as well as on my cupid's bow and sometimes on the inner corners of my eyes and i love this one from anastasia because it definitely gets a lot of glowiness but it also settles in beautifully and i even use it as an eyeshadow so i just love how it instantly makes my skin look really bronzy just very glowy i'm obsessed with this one so now it's time to go with blush now this duo which again i haven't mentioned it so many times already but i feel like if you know that I do, it's because I really love them. And I'm talking about my Glossier Cloud Paints. I use two shades. I actually missed Dusk and Beam. In this duo, I haven't found other blush that I can use because this duo just makes everything. It not only makes my cheek look really gorgeous and almost like a curly pink uh style but it also gives it a little bit of a shimmer which i kind of love and obviously glossier is all about minimal and very um glowy looking skin so i just love 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 this so now it's time to just mattify everything now something that i also am loving as a step is actually putting powder on my skin because i have put so many cream products that i feel like i have to mattify everything up and just make sure that nothing moves and the one that i also love which is an oldie but another good one is the Lotta mercier translucent loose setting powder now this one is the one that it doesn't have any shades i mean definitely now they come with uh skin color in a way so it helps you out a little bit but to be completely honest you can use this if you have my skin color or even darker so basically what i do is i use my beauty blender dab it in and then just basically put on all the places where i put concealer which is what mostly moves on my skin and then i just wait a bit of a second and i just love that it gives my skin like a little bit of a evenness and like i mentioned it just holds all the products in so I kind of love, like again, it mattifies everything. It just makes my skin really even. And like I mentioned, it just helps all the products singing. So now it's time to go, obviously, with my brows. Now with my brows, again, I feel like this isn't a surprise if you guys have watched my channel before. And it's, yes, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade. And I use the shade dark brown i don't think i have bought other product because first thing first this one works and second of all there's so much product still in that i feel like i don't have the necessity to buy another one um and i'm going to be using it with an angular brush now this one is an old one that i got i think from an old palette i don't know if it was from my clinic one and i still use it so again i don't need to buy another brush for it so now what i do is i'm gonna try to put the camera a little bit closer because i know like this it is in show great. See, so basically what I do is I brush them downwards because these hairs on my brows as you can see come down and then I just work a little bit the arch and then I just go on the inner corner and just brush them upwards because here is where the hairs begin and it's just basically recreating what I already have. So you're almost following a shadow, if I can say. I'm gonna use some brow mascara, another one that I have been using, which I haven't bought a new one. I mean, this one from MAC. Now, this one is crazy pigmented, so you have to get the excess out. And then I'm going just to brush them 
again, just following the hairs. Okay, so my brows are done. Now it's time to move for the eyes. Now, because this is an everyday, really minimal makeup look, I'm not gonna put, obviously, eyeshadows because to be completely honest, if I'm heading to work or I'm doing something, I wouldn't put eyeshadow, just maybe if I'm going out. So, but I do use one product, and that's this little guy right here, which is the Scandalize, and this one is one of their eyeshadow stick crayons, and it's in the shade Bad Girl Bronze. This one, one of, I think it was in my 2017 favorites. I love it. Um, and basically what I do, is I put it on my waterline and then sometimes just put it really close to the top lashes just create a bit of a smokiness because I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow but I do want to look like my eyes are awake and they have a little bit of color so that's why I like to use this crayon it's really blendable and it blends really easily and then after applying this one I just basically go straight in well before putting mascara I sometimes use my L'Oreal this one is the Thing, not the super slim liquid eyeliner so now I'm not gonna do a cat eye because that doesn't seem minimal but sometimes I like to create a bit of a flick just to make my eyes a little bit more um, long because I do have really round eyes it just makes them a little bit smaller and I just like to create my lashes a little bit longer so I feel like when you put that little flick it just makes them look bigger um, and I love this one because it doesn't move it's waterproof it stays in place and L'Oreal is always one of my favorite brands when it comes to mascaras and liners. And then mascara, I'm gonna be applying this from, which is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have never found a mascara that makes my lashes look bigger and clumber and insane because I hardly have lashes. I'm even thinking of putting lashes section, but I feel like it's so tedious that I'm not sure that I will. But I love just how this mascara always works. Now this one, it isn't waterproof, um, but it's easier to remove that if would if been waterproof that's why i like it sometimes when i'm going out and about and i just want to have big lashes this one from Too Faced always works now my eyes are done as as you can see with that mascara it just instantly make you look like you're wearing falsies and i love it so now it's time to do my lips now the products that i have been using with my lips are these two no surprise at all my dirty peach from kylie jenner is my favorite lip liner and i love this one because it's really pigmented it's like a peachy brownie nude and i just love how it makes my lips look on its own but right now i have been loving it topping it up with my mademoiselle lipstick now this one is in the shade single is one of the newest ones from rihanna and i feel like these two just gives me the perfect peachy uh nude lips and again it just make my lips look luscious and big and i just love it how it looks with my big mascara with my big lashes um so i love these two because i'm hardly wearing a lot on my skin well i i am wearing products but what i mean is i'm not wearing things that are like too heavily pigmented so i feel like with the lipstick and the mascara i feel like i can just go out of the street and i'm done and i just love the texture of these lipsticks they're insane and i hope well guys this is it i hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial look like always i'm gonna link all the product below and if you have any further questions please feel free to ask and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next week with a brand new video Bye.